who's excited about the great Hefley road trip. There's virtually no family that hasn't ever been trapped in a vehicle with the people who they love the most, who also aggravate them the most. And there's really no escape. Until you get to where you're going, there is no escape. And things inevitably go wrong. It's just sort of a given. Winter Expo's in Indianapolis this weekend. It's only two inches away. I'm not sure that's how maps work. Changing destination. Run, 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 run. And they're not just sort of like a book that you read along the way. They're each generation of kids who, who comes across the books really loves them and feels like these books belong to them. And I think because these characters, you know, Greg is a much more uh, human and fallible hero than a lot of young heroes who tend to be much more noble than he is. Um, you know, I'm always amazed how, like in the Magic Treehouse books, like those siblings never fight. They're always getting along. You know, and they're always like their best self and they're always nice to their parents too. They're nice to each other, they're nice to their parents. Whereas, you know, Greg is just a little bit more like the rest of us. He's a little bit more flawed. And um, particularly with Long Haul, um, I think that Jeff, you know, had a movie in mind as well when he wrote it. You want one? Oh, Greg, I wouldn't encourage them. There's only one. We've put our actors through quite an ordeal when it comes to um, making them incredibly dirty. Um, they go through a series of adventures and each one of them is messier than the last. And so uh, there's a point at which they, uh, all of their belongings fall off of the car and they're trying to gather what they can and a car runs over their toiletries quit kit and they are sprayed with all of Susan's toiletries, all of the shampoos. We tested all of that and then it took great relish in squirting and spraying our actors with all sorts of shampoo-like products. Um, there is a mishap that occurs with seagulls in the car where Greg is feeding a seagull um, through the sunroof and uh, one seagull is one thing, but a whole flock of seagulls, so to speak, um, in your car is another, and that is very messy and leaves them covered in uh, bird poop. Um, their car gets stuck and everybody has to push while Frank drives, but the car is stuck in a little ditch, and so you have the classic you know, wheel spinning, splattering them with mud. Um, there's feathers from the seagulls. It's just one thing after another. Our makeup department was very busy with both designing all of the materials that would splatter on them and then the continuity, making sure that they always have the right amount of dirt of the right type from one scene to the next it has been a challenge as well.